Uh, thank you, Honourable uh, Speaker. Uh, just, just before I uh, go into that, Honourable Speaker, I just want to um, correct something that um, the Honourable Dr. Mahinda Reddy had uh, objected to. Uh, that was in regard to the um, the work at the Nandranganavos uh, projects in the Singatoka. Um, what I was trying to say, Honorable Speaker, was that we were ready to start on the 1st of November uh, after all the work had been done to the satisfaction of the, of the uh, other agencies, which is quite, uh, quite, ex quite, uh, quite detailed and very, uh, quite taxing. It was just that on the, the, on the last week, just before we are going to start, this clerk at Singapore Dr. Town Council said he also do an EIA. So I was not blaming the environmental, uh, the Department of Environment. It just, it just said, it's just the way that they gave us these requirements when you were ready to go. So, uh, Dr. Reddy, it, I was not trying to blame the environmental, the Department of Environment. You, you have come through. Hopefully, you will get something tomorrow. It was just the, the disconnected manner that the other agencies had had um, um, had processed our application, uh, and that is something that we really need to um, to go to look into, honourable speaker. So, hopefully, I, I we get the approval tomorrow. Uh, it was not pointing the finger at the Department of Environment. It was more the I think the town and country planning. And the last week said, let them do an AIA also, after all the work we had done. So, please, correction there, Honorable Dr. Reddy. Um, Honorable Speaker, if also I could just touch on the credibility factor uh, as highlighted by the, um, by the Honorable uh, Attorney General, that we are getting all this uh, support in budget because of the credibility of the Fiji First Government. Um, Honorable Speaker, other governments in the past have been, did a good job too. We were credible. Uh, it's not just because um, of Fiji First. There is a situation that you need to realize, Honorable Speaker, is that there is what we call is the China factor. A lot of the, the two big countries, Australia and New Zealand, are now uh, concerned about China coming into the Pacific, and that is why they are uh, giving us the kind of support we never used to have before. So it is not because Fiji First are managing the book, books better than, uh, than before. It's just that dynamics have changed in, the, in this part of the world. They want to keep China out of the, of the Pacific, so they will give most of what we want. It is a policy known as uh, strategic denial for Australia and New Zealand to keep China out, uh, hence the, the level of support that we are seeing today. So it will be wrong for Fiji First to claim that we are so efficient, that's why we are getting all this support. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, in terms of the, uh, of the hotels, in terms of the hotels, Honorable Speaker, I'm just, just don't make claims that are unfounded. We, we, are, we also know the story, okay? We also know the story. It's not, it's not because, it's not because you're super efficient. It's, it's, the, it's the way things are today. Australia and New Zealand will keep, will do, will do their utmost to keep China out of the Pacific. So we will be seeing a lot of support from them. That is, that is the reality of it. It's not because you are efficient. We've had better governments in the past. Please, let's, let's always remember that, please, honestly. Stick to the motion, stick to the motion. On the, on the hotels, Honorable Speaker, Honorable, Honorable Speaker, can we just have one speaker in this house, please? I'm, I'm getting so many speakers. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, on the hotels, um, this, this um, yearly review or the yearly application, I believe, goes back to the the period when tourism was just starting out, I was just sharing with my colleagues in the, in, the, in the party that there was a time, I think in the 70s or 60s, 
when there were guest houses all over Suva, guest houses all over Fiji. And I think there was that concern that the standards were not really there. And that is why they, they had to uh, bring in these kind of regulations to, to make sure that they checked on them uh, on a regular basis, which was, which was early. I know uh, for, for those of us who manage the uh, hotels linked to global change, there was, there was no fear of that. But, but I think the, the, the concern there was that a lot of the small operators were uh, abusing the system. There was a case during my time in Tourism Honorable Speaker when investors built properties in Raki Raki, Americans, and they would collect the payments up in America, out in America, and people would come to Fiji um, and, and um, f say that they are tourists, but there was no money coming to, into Fiji because they were, paying, they were paid back in, in America and they occupied properties. Uh, they would stay in, for weeks, for months in, in their homes here in Fiji. And that's, that was one area where that, that was really very concerning to us. And I think we managed, we managed to put some, um, some regulations to, to stop that. But that is an indication of why we were, they had this yearly kind of review to, um, to, to regulate this kind of activities on the board speaker. So <clears throat> while I, um, if, as a former hotelier, yeah, I, would, I would welcome these uh, once, once five, um, do, doing it every five years. I, I think we still need to be mindful, to be mindful that there can be abuse of the, of the system and in the, in the process, uh, compromise the level of standard of, of our accommodation sector in Fiji. So, um, yes, we understand where we are going. We understand that uh, this will help with, uh, with the operators, but, but the quality of the Fiji product needs to be utmost in our mind, Honorable Speaker. Uh, wonderful seeing the arrival yesterday of people coming into Fiji. Those happy faces should be assured of quality in their accommodation. And this is one way, this is one way of ensuring that the, 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 the accommodation quality is maintained um, uh, at a consistent level. So um, while we, like I said, while we appreciate what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do, uh, I know that we have harped about the ease of doing business. Let's always remember that there was a reason for doing this, and that uh, if we're going to go this way, let's make sure that we respond very quickly when something amiss comes out in the, in the tourism industry. Uh, if someone is not offering the standard that, uh, that we promised, that, that it would compromise the, the reputation of, uh, of our um, pro products, then we must act very quickly to, uh, to correct things. So, yes, um, we go this way, but, but you know, we, we need to caution, we need to caution the government, we need to caution the government to also uh, be in a position to respond quickly to, uh, to a situation that can easily damage our reputation. And Honorable Speaker, as you know, one mistake, and today we live in a, in a global economy, information age, it can quickly reach out every corner of the world if something in Fiji is wrong. That is, there is a danger there. So um, let's, let's do this, but be careful of what, of what the, the repercussions could be if we are not vigilant in the way we maintain our standards. Um, Honorable Speaker, I, I just, I just, we just wish that you know, there could have been a bit more dialogue on this. Because the, you have, have, you have, have you checked with the hotel association? Have, have you checked with the, have you checked with the, the native land, the, the, the native land people? Uh, how, how, what's, what's, what is the, re, the, re, the repercussions on the, the repercussions on the lease? The re, this, this is a huge, 
Honorable Speaker, can you some, just occasionally wave the yellow card, throw somebody out, you know, occasionally, please? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, we, 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 I've got the red card. <laughs> we, we, we're talking about the biggest, the biggest segments in a, in a tourism offering is the accommodation sector, Honorable Speaker. So when you, when you talk on accommodation, you must take time to, to have dialogue on this um, in the... In, a, in, a, in, the, in the most, um, in, the, in the ways that can give us a lot of comfort about this, Honorable Speaker. So, so really, Honorable Speaker, we would just wish that you could take this back and let's have a bit more dialogue on this, Honorable Speaker. Yes, thank you, Honorable Speaker. I give the floor to the Honorable Kurin Ranik.